Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play. And a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org. Hey parents, whether they're pedaling down the street on their bikes or shooting hoops with friends, these moments may seem small to adults, but for kids, they're anything but small. They're epic. And you know who is always there? Capri Sun. Kids love Capri Sun, and to be honest, so do I. Capri Sun is all about kids getting to call the shots. It's not just a delicious drink. It's an ode to childhood freedom. Yeah, Capri Sun. It's going to be epic. Hello, friends. It's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Right now, I need you to make sure that you've smashed the follow button or that little plus sign so that you don't miss out on any of our awesome stories. Well, today's story comes to us from Mateo and Mikkel. Hey, guys, they sent me an awesome idea for a story, and you can too. Just head over to kidshortstories.com, send me your idea, and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. Are you guys ready for today's story? Me too, let's go! Rocky the Rocket and Trend the Train were two best friends that always loved to race each other. Who do you think would win in a race between a super fast rocket and a super fast train? Well, I think we're about to find out. Whoa, I'm going as fast as I can! This is amazing! Shouted Trend the Train. You see, Rocky the Rocket and Trend the Train were having a race of all races. They were trying to race as fast as they could around the whole Earth. They were zooming and zooming. You see, Trend the Train had built tracks around the whole Earth so that if he just got going as fast as he could, he could travel Almost as fast as Rocky the Rocket, zooming around the Earth. And just then, as the race ended, Rocky the Rocket was able to win just in front of Trend the Train. Woohoo! shouted Rocky the Rocket. Whoa, that was a good race, Trend. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Good job, you won, said Trend. And just over in the distance, something caught Trend's eye. Hey, Rocky, do you see that over there? Off in the distance, in space, just on the edge of Earth, they saw something very unusual. Rocky blasted off over to get closer. He couldn't believe it. Tren, get up here! Tren, the train, had wings so that he could fly. He wasn't as fast. He was much faster on his tracks. But his wings could get him off the ground and into the air even space. As Tren the Train arrived where Rocky the Rocket was, they couldn't believe it. In front of them was a black hole. Where in the world did this come from? shouted Rocky. I don't know. This was definitely not here earlier, said Tren the Train. Do you know what a black hole is? It's a very complicated thing that I don't even understand. But basically, just imagine there is a giant black hole hovering in the air. And it was like a giant vacuum. And it was trying to suck in everything that it possibly could. And the more it sucked in, the bigger it got. Oh, no. And I think it's because Rocky and Tren have been racing around the Earth. Rocky and Tren's mouths were hanging wide open because they realized what had just happened. Rocky, I think we did this. I think we were going so fast that it made a black hole. Um, what do we do? I remember learning in school that black holes cannot be destroyed. That... Anything around them 
will just get sucked in and then they'll get bigger and bigger and bigger and then oh no it might swallow our whole planet said rocky hold on there's got to be a way to fix this said trend the train uh oh my professor friend let's go fly down and talk to him he always has all the answers maybe he has an idea for us Rocky and Trin blasted off back towards Earth to head back to where their school was. There was a teacher there called Professor Whitehair, and he was the smartest of everyone. Surely he would know. Professor! shouted Rocky as Rocky and Trin burst through the door into his classroom. Oh, hey boys! How's it going? Professor, it's not going well! <gasps> We were racing around planet Earth all day and accidentally created a black hole. Rocky the Rocket was uh, known for blurting out things before totally thinking through exactly what he was going to say. <laughs> oh my, that is a doozy. Well, uh, let me see here. The professor grabbed his telescope and pointed it up towards the sky where Rocky was pointing. And there he saw it. Who? Oh. I've never seen one of those that close before. But yes, that, that is a black hole indeed. Holy smoly goly, said Professor Whitehair. You see, I think we messed up the whole universe. What are we going to do? Shouted Trin. Oh, hold on, hold on. There's always a way. I just need to think. Hmm. I've got it. Professor Whitehair grabbed some chalk and started furiously drawing on the chalkboard a very elaborate plan. As you know, a black hole cannot be destroyed, and it is just a matter of time before planet Earth will be sucked into its inner core, and we will be gone forever. Forever? Whoa, hold on, hold on, Rocky, 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 calm down. Well, here's my plan. I've been working on portals and i'm pretty sure that if we set up one end of the portal right in front of the black hole and we launch the other side of the portal on the other side of the universe then we might be actually saved that's actually a really good idea you see the professor he's really smart like i told you and he discovered how to make portals do you know what a portal is yeah, portals are, like, if you fall in on one side, it, it like, uh, you land on the other side in some other part of the world. It's, like, kind of like a uh, transporter. Think of it like that. And that's a really smart idea by the professor. What if we could just transport this black hole to somewhere far, far away that's not going to affect us? See, I knew Professor Whitehair could come through. That's, that's a really good idea, said Rocky. Trin started thinking. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea, but how are, how are we going to get a portal up there? Those things are huge, said Trin. Oh, I think that if the two of you work together, then then just maybe you, you would be able to pull the portal just in front of the black hole. Just make sure that you don't get sucked in yourselves, because if you do, there's, there's nothing I can do about that, said Professor Whitehair. Over the next several hours, Rocky and Tren were, received the training they needed to, to bring this giant portal into space to put in front of the black hole. Three, two, one. And just like that, Rocky and Tren strapped on with this portal were blasted off towards the black hole. Oh, we're going so fast! said Trent the train. He was not used to going this fast towards space, but being strapped on to Rocky the Rocket, wow, that gives you some extra boost. As they arrived at the lo location they needed to make sure that they didn't get too close to the black hole or else it would suck them in, and they set up the portal just in the perfect place. All right, Trent, I need you to uh, strap it on over there to that meteor. Hurry. Tran raced over to tie the portal off on this side and as Rocky was tying it off on the other. All right, I, I think we're done here, said Tren. I think uh, the professor said that once we get it set up, the black hole will just go through the portal and, and that was a whole lot easier than I thought it was going to 
B. Oh, oh, oh. Rocky, help! Just then, somehow Tren the train was being sucked towards the black hole. No, Tren, hold on! Rocky grabbed some rope and threw it over towards Tren, who held on as Rocky tried to blast off away from the black hole. He was able to pull Tren just in the nick of time before he got sucked into the black hole. Oh, thank you, Rocky. That was a close one. I almost lost my caboose on that one. As Tren and Rocky returned back to the school, Professor Whitehair opened up the portal and off the black hole was sent. Wow, great job, Rocky and Tren. This was an amazing day. I never thought that I'd ever see a black hole, let alone send it through one of my portals. I just am so happy with these kinds of experiments. Well, yes, that was pretty cool, but hopefully we'll never see a black hole ever again, said Rocky the Rocket. Holy smokes, that was a crazy day. And I think Rocky and Tren are never going to race around planet Earth that fast ever again. The end. Ah, parents, remember those glorious childhood moments? You know, pedaling down the street on your bike, feeling the breeze in your hair, or pick up games of basketball with your friends as the sun dipped below the horizon, or having a camp out in your backyard with all your neighborhood friends? Well, here's the thing. Those moments may not seem like much to us now, but for kids, they're nothing short of epic. And the thing is, Capri Sun is always there. Riding bikes, building forts, making new friends. Each choice a child makes encourages this sense of independence. Capri Sun is all about kids getting to call the shots. So, listen, next time you see a kid pedaling their heart out or aiming for that perfect shot or building a home away from home in the backyard with neighborhood kids inside a cardboard box. Remember, the Capri Sun is there, not just as a delicious drink, but as a tribute to the untamed spirit of childhood. Capri Sun, it's going to be epic. Hey friends, I need your help celebrating a birthday. Drum roll, please. Happy birthday, Leo, who's turning six years old. Leo loves soccer, tennis, basketball, running, and code ninjas. He knows all the country flags and can show you all the countries on a world map. Holy smokes, that's impressive. And he loves his doggy Casper and sister Amelia. Wow, Leo, I'm so glad we get to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy sixth birthday. Well, friends, I hope you all have a super duper day and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye. Home is a place to laugh, learn and play and a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda, we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org.